What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art video, man. If you're new to this channel, go ahead, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time you put y'all some heat. In today's video, we finna um turn that boy KSI into a robot. So I'm finna do a full walkthrough on how to make a robot cartoon head. So without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Okay, let me go to new. The art, the artboard I'm using is 18 by 18 inches. I'm gonna get that out of the way. Just for the people who want to know. Okay. We're gonna drag and drop our picture. And I'm gonna I'm gonna let you know too. On, I got like um four different display streams. So on this other stream, what I'm looking at is a reference of the robot face. So, but I'm sitting that on the other stream. That's what I'm looking at. Okay, drag and drop our picture in here that we finna use. I'm holding shift as I grab the corner so I don't um, distort the picture. Okay, bam, put it in the center. We're gonna bring the opacity down All right here. Gonna lock that layer and then we're gonna create a new layer right above it now i'm gonna come up here and i'm gonna go to new brush and you cannot get this option unless you're using a digital art tablet i'm using a wacom cintiq 22 inch so you cannot get this option unless you're using a digital art tablet so i'm gonna hit okay and go to pressure and I'm gonna change these two bottom numbers to three. Okay, after I do that. Now, the first thing I like to do when I'm doing the robot head or the transformer face, I like to trace the eye socket and kind of show you what a pocket is. Let me um, make this brush a little bigger. Wait, let me see, okay, I like that. Made the brush a two point. Okay, bam. So I trace the eye socket like this. Then I come over like this. Gotta trace that eye socket first. Um, what I can do is I can bring this up a little bit and turn it in. Wow. So we're trying to make the shape of the little robot uh, face first. Let's do the rip skin. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have all this rip like this. So you don't wanna make it look too neat. We're gonna stop it right there. Okay, cool. Now we got this little eye socket going. I'm gonna bring this cheekbone out like this. Right where this nose come up, we're gonna go like right here. Now I got that way too high. So you gotta make it make sense. You gotta make the little bone structure make sense. Okay, let's uh, bring this up here. Cool, cool, cool is good. I need, I wanna bring this up a little higher. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna pull this right here. Okay, after we pull that right there, let's go ahead and connect our lines. Go ahead and do the little nose socket. Come up right here. Y'all see it coming together, man. You feel me? So we're gonna go do this. And then we're gonna. 
let's let's pull this line out a little further right here and then we're gonna make a another line that trace out here like this See what I'm doing, man. It's coming together. It's coming together slowly but surely. Alright, bring this like this. We're gonna make this make this a little pocket. Okay. Now you see how we got this? Oh, we're gonna curve some of these lines like this. Because that's gonna be the skin peel back. So I'm gonna make this come over here like this. And we're gonna go just like this. And bring it on up. And now Okay, cool. So we're, we're trying to do the half robot. Have regular face. So um, let me um, do the little hydraulic spring that's in the jawbone. So we're gonna come like this, like that. Bring this line on, like that. Coming together, y'all. We just going with the flow. Alright. Now, another thing we gotta do, we gotta make this come on down. Let's do it like this. a little bean
you know. And the other side is like cruise control. Um, let me see, bring this up. Like that. No, so we're gonna bring this part over. Like that. Okay, good to go, good to go. Also, let's go to our circle tool. And we gotta add the robotic eye. shift make it a little bigger let's move it down some probably right there let's make a copy by holding out and I'm gonna hold shift scale it down some Now we finna do the effect, like the skin getting peeled back. So, I'ma draw that is. I'ma go like this. Go touch this. You know what I'm saying? Make it flow. How we doing? Trying to make it. Copy of this little clamp we just created. Hold, hold, alt, and drag it. Then we gonna right click it, go to 
transform and reflect. So we can turn it around. Face it in the other direction. Then I'm gonna hold out again. Now that we got the little clamps to hold the eye, we're going to select all that. We're going to go to expand appearance. And then we're going to go to expand because we got to remember we use the shape. That's why you got to do it twice when you're using the shape. Hold, hit OK. And now you want to go to your Pathfinder. So let me pull out my Pathfinder. And you want to click divide. After you click divide, we can come up here, right click, isolate selected group, and we can delete the lines that we overshot. See what I'm saying? See how that line going through it? And we delete it. Now delete this. perfectly now what I like to do to not make this look so negative like just open all this free open space I like to add some extra little wires so it seem like it's a lot going on even though I'm a color all this I like to just add it just for more detail wire for this and we can just create some random mechanical parts because it all look like it's making sense anyway let's go right here make this brush a little bigger Let's go to our pencil brush, our pencil tool. Move this color black to the top. Make sure the bottom one stay locked. And we're gonna do his eyebrows. So, so bring this up. Perfect. Fill this eye in. Alright, cool. Now we got that eye filled in. Go up here. And add that little part. That's in the braid he got.
and now what we can do we can add little cut marks inside this metal area just to give it give it some detail real quick just not make it look so plain so how we gonna do that we just gonna come through Pretty much is done with this line work. I would like to see me coloring this in and adding shadows and all that as a full walkthrough tutorial get this video to 300 likes and I'll drop part two with the shading and the shadows and all that good stuff man thank you guys for watching make sure you stay tuned because more heat is coming soon and I'm out this thing <laughs>